Hello again. This is the Watering Man. This is Spiritual Toolbox number 543. And we're continuing in John chapter 4 verse 43. Where it says in the King James Version. Now after two days he departed thence. And went into Galilee. Galilee is this heathen circle. This heathen circuit. You're the blackness of your carnal mind. Liking the understanding of God. <coughs> Just a minute. <coughs> Can't let none of that stuff. No little drainings, no little <coughs> choking up. I beat it. Right? Hang on, let me get my glasses on here. Just a minute. All right. Now, uh, yesterday, <clears throat> I was uh, doing a recording, and I was throwing out some, referring to some different references, okay, and I didn't, uh, forget if I, I don't think I had my blue letter Bible in front of me or nothing, or the, you know, Kindle or nothing like that, and uh, I had a little brain fart. And I misspoke something. Just a little bit. Okay? So I'm going to correct that. And uh, the word was, uh, in, it's in Matthew chapter 12. I'm just going to read verse 38 and 39. And it's adulterous. I think I said evil or something like that or perverse or something like that. But look, let me just read that. Okay? That happens. Okay? The, slip, the tongue is a slippery spot. I just misarticulated just a little bit. But I still had it right on what, what it was. Okay? What it is. <clears throat> All right. Matthew chapter 12, verse 38. There's other references in there, but I'm just going to read this, okay? I'm not going to spend much time on this, okay? Then, certain of the Pharisees, certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, they're talking to Jesus, okay? Remember, they're kind of brown nosing. Butter you up. So we can lay that, get you just uppercut right here. So we can condemn you. Hmm? Then certain of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from you. From thee. Hmm. Uh -uh. What did Jesus answer them? Jesus. Jesus. 24-24. Yahweh is salvation. Not Jehovah. Jehovah. They put that in the concordances. But if you go back beyond that. Back way back. There wasn't vowels in there. They added those vowels. So it went for e uh, pronunciation. Hmm. And like in singing and different things, the vowels elongate or they delay the carrying out. Whenever you're in the eye of the storm, remember, right down the eye of the storm where you got to make a decision. Red way or green way. I shouldn't have to tell you what those are. Red way is your own. Me, myself, and I, red Adamic ways. Huh? Your way of thinking, you want to choose that? You try to hang on to both, you're still choosing that. Or you know, say, I want that stuff out. Chop it out, skip it out. Skim it out, way out. In the green way of Christ. That's agreeing with God emphatically in hot pursuit, being a fanatic for God. Be in hot pursuit, follow me. Isn't that what Jesus told the disciples? Follow me. Drop what you're doing. No matter what it is, follow me. Let me chop this stuff out. Chop it up. Skim it up. We okay. It's a short. Okay. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> but he answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous. Okay. I'll get to that in just a minute. I'm going to break down the whole verse and this whole passage and stuff right now because I'm still in John chapter 4, verse 43. 
Okay. <clears throat> Not hiding anything. Okay. An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign. Tangible proof. And there shall no sign be given ex uh, to it. To that evil and adulterous generation or period of people out here. And all they're thinking. Trying to rely on that majority. The darkness in their own minds and in other minds. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm not going to preach on this. <laughs> Okay, let's see. The seek for a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Just go do it. If you don't, you disobey. You try to hang on to this duality. Your soul is thinking, both of them in there, too, in your earthly thinking. The flesh and the spirit of God. You're trying to hang on to it. Trying to make up your own mind what's good and evil. Huh? Is that adversary Satan? Uh, giving you a lollipop? That's your own carnal mind. That's your adversary. There's nothing even remotely equal to God. Huh? Or is your own diabolus, false accuser, trying to beat you when you're down? Falsely accuse you, diabolos. Hmm? It's your carnal mind. It's directly opposed to you going to towards and into God. Hmm? Are you agreeing with that? Hmm? Or are you agreeing emphatically in high pursuit with God, who is your exceeding great reward, the self existing one, or you exist and exist and exist? Back in the God and let him chop, 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 chop this crap out. Hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into the whole thing here. Let's get down to this adulterous. Alright. Hang on a minute. Alright. Adulterous. That word is translated from 3428 M O I C H A L I S. And it's this word. Let me make sure it's turned up. Strong's G, 3428 Mor Halis. Mor Halis. Mor Halis. They want more of that crap in Halis. That be yuck. Crap hot dog, right? They're adulterous. Now, in this, I'm just going to tell you in short what this is, okay? It's like that woman at the well. You got your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Your five husbands. Is that they come back and let them be married to God and let them chop out this red way? Chop out stuff out, or you stay married to this thing here. This Moy Halise, you're married. To that old stinking thinking, you're adulterous to God. Let him chop that out. That's a swatting king. Chop it out. Skim it out little by little by little. Then one e to the 35 thought processes are like little grains of sand in this big expanded one thought process out to the earth, to Alpha Centauri. He's chopping out all these one to two to four eight as you green like God. And the rightful king, God. Is taking control of your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. You're marrying Christ. To put it quite frankly and just short. Huh? But an evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign. Tangible proof, man. We want some scientific evidence or some other bullcrap. No beginning, right? Except the sign of Jonah. Hmm. You better obey. If you don't, God is not mocked. Mankind will reap what they sow. If they sow that fleshly thinking, they'll reap destruction. Ooh, yuck. The broad way. You sow to the spirit, you reap the life of the age. And this ages, this thing's being chopped out, skimmed out, way out. And you're coming on up higher to, back to God. 
I'm coming home to your daddy, pop pop, out of this pig pen, out of slop, like an old, like a sow returns to its own slop after it's been cleaned up. Oh, get back, back in here. Back into the old crap. Don't be like an old sow, an old pig. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Just want to touch on that. So that verse 39 of uh, Matthew chapter 12. Okay, it's in, I think it's in Luke and Mark and and John, probably. I mean, I, I, I can look it up pretty quick, but I'm not going to take time to do that right now, okay? It says, but he answered and said unto them, and even when adulterous generation seeks for a sign and there shall no sign be given but the sign of Jonah the prophet Jonas okay now that is adulterous wrong king wrong husband God's your rightful king come back to your true identity bride of Christ don't stay married to this daggone sitting here and dirty dog. Thank you. No more, no more. Hmm. See? Because it's God's will be done. Not my will be done. <coughs> See? Not my will but yours be done. Not my will but yours be done. Oh, the old man is dead, and the new is alive. Not my will, but yours be done. If any man be in Christ, he's existing in Christ. He is a new creation in the Lord, continually, habitually. Oh, the old man is dead, and the new is alive. Not my will, but yours be done. Not my will, but yours, O oh, holy Lord. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not my will, but yours be done. Well, lo, oh, the old man is dead, and the new is alive. Not my will, but yours. Not my will, but yours. Not my will, but yours. Three days, three ages in your earth. The experience. Be done. Hmm? All right. Now. <clears throat> I think I'm going to cut there and then put it on a recording and we'll do the next, we'll start the next one, okay? This is just a little uh, slip of the tongue. And it happens. You going to let that stuff separate you from God? No, nah, absolutely not. Get out of here, you dead dumb muck. Get, get, get out of here. Right? God's giving me the ability. Be still, you dead old dog. I beat you down. Burn out. Burn you up, God. Burn that crap up. And come on up higher than God. I don't want you no more. You Jacob nature. Ooh, dig one. Hmm? Disrespect this. And then the same thing you're honoring, respecting, you're reverencing God. You reverence and honor this. You're only me, myself, and I, red endemic ways. You're dishonoring God. They're enmity with one another. Directly opposed. They're going like this is arrows pointing out here. They're going in the opposite directions. You're thinking. This one's going down, your old city. This one's going back up to God. Which way are you taking in that eye of the storm? You're making a decision. You go your red way or your green way? The broad way, it's easy peasy, or you go make the tougher decision. But as you become a love slave to God, you choose your love slave to God. 
But it's external stuff. Doesn't matter. Ooh, yuck. I don't want to have to suffer. But I'll suffer a little bit. For Christ. If you don't suffer with me, you'll not reign with me. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Hit like, subscribe. Man, we're not playing around here with this stuff. Mamsy pamsy stuff. Easy peasy bullshit thinking. It's slap it down. Be still, you dig on dope here. Suck, sock, and duct tape. Hmm? Huh? Be still. Put a muzzle on, you old dog. Have a great day. Bye-bye.